you're all doing well on this hump day. I am not training today. I will be doing cardio later today at some point. I'm just going to wear my weighted vest and go outside and walk for a little bit. But I am actually getting ready to head to Vestavia, um, which is in Birmingham, for those of you that aren't super aware of Alabama. And um, I'm going to be getting my lips done and a little bit of disport. So I always get questions on like my face and my skin and that I don't look my age and all this kind of stuff. So here's the deal. I've been doing like maintenance since I was 32. And even prior to that, I always wore, I would always go to bed taking my makeup off. I would wash my face, put moisturizer on, put wrinkle cream on, all that. But when I was 32, I really started to notice um, forehead wrinkles, which is really common on my dad's side. Um, on my um, mom's side, everyone ages very well. Like we may get some like eye wrinkles, but that's really about it. Um, and both my sister, my mom and my dad, like had these forehead wrinkles and I really wanted to prevent that. So at the time I traded out with a client and I tried Botox for the first time and I only did about 20 units. Um, and I still do very small units even now because I'm not trying to necessarily freeze my entire face. I just want um, to use it for prevention measures. So for those of you that know or have done it before, 20 units of any type of facial injection is friend. I never really kept up with it that much. Like, you know, you're supposed to get it done every three to six months. So I would go like five months and then get it or eight months and then get it, you know, just whenever I started to notice that I was starting to get lines again. So, um, I changed from Botox to Dysport because Dysport is kind of weaker than Botox. They say if you're going to get 20 units of Dysport, that's like 10 units of Botox. So it's like half the strength. Um, and I really like it because it's not super strong. I can still move my face around. I mean, you know, um, and... I don't know. I just choose to go with it because it's weaker and, you know, it seems to react very well with my body and my skin. So I'm going today to get that. Um, my sister's going to go with me. Um, I decided to go while I was here because um, she has always been curious about it and um, it was time for me to get it done anyway. So I'm going to go have that done. And then last year, around this time, it was actually around June, I believe, um, I had um, my lips done and I had one syringe of Juvederm Voluma put in, but you can kind of see something's happening like right here to that. And I wasn't planning on getting my lips done again, but I really want that little spot and I'm sure it's not noticeable to anyone but me. Even my family's been like, what are you talking about? But I notice it. So um, I'm going to have uh, my lips done again. And I first had my lips done. They were super swollen um, and really big. And don't get me wrong. I was like, this is great. But they went down and they ended up looking very natural. Um, I really just wanted a larger, just a little bit of a plumper lower lip and just a little bit of a larger upper lip, which is what I got. So that's what I'm going for again this time. I kind of want them even. Um, and I'm going to be super swollen again for probably, you know, the rest of really make sure you take care of yourself in other ways. So like I said, I have a good skincare routine. I always wash my face before bed. Um, I usually in the morning use a face of the week and then it'll go down. So that's what I'm going to have done today. Everyone always asks me, about my skin and about like the makeup that I wear and all this kind of stuff. And it's not necessarily all about the makeup. You have to, and at night I do the same thing. I don't use a wipe, but I do a two-step cleansing where I kind of cleanse my face first with a little bit of a more rougher cleanser. And then I'll use like a cream cleanser 
and um, you know, then I rinse off. I use a toner. Um, I use a good moisturizer. I use a good eye cream. Um, I like. I really like CeraVe. So if you're looking for CeraVe stuff or you're looking for something that's really good, that's not hypoallergenic or doesn't have scents in it, um, those are really good products. And they don't seem to like break my skin out. I also had started using a um, serum, but it's an oil serum. So I have to be very careful with it because I have oily skin anyway in my T-zone. Um, so I use just a little bit, like I'm talking a little, little. So guys, there is the dish on how I try to just keep myself looking and feeling my best. Um, if you don't agree with this, you know, that's your prerogative, but I don't see any problem with it. It makes me feel good and that's really all I care about. <laughs> so, um, I get questions all the time, so there you go. Um, like I said, it, it's not just about the makeup or the foundation or whatever that you wear. However, learning how to do your makeup is going to help, but it's about taking your scare, taking care of your skin in general. Um, and for me, this is part of my self-care and taking care of myself. Um, it makes me feel good inside and out, so I'm gonna do it. Um, anyway, that's pretty much it. If you guys have questions, just let me know. Oh, um, so I have had more before and I have felt very frozen. Like my eyebrows are just stuck up here and I couldn't move my face. So I have just stuck with the 20 units and that seems to work very well with me. Um, it still allows me to move my face around and I don't have like the forehead wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, three things I'm grateful for today. Um, I'm grateful that I have the means to be able to do this, um, and to be able to execute this. That's pretty much it. So that's what I'm doing today. So you'll see me later on with bigger lips. Um, the Dysport takes a couple of days to kick in, so it won't fully kick in until probably Friday. So, anyway, my sister who's going to be going with me and um, tagging along for the trip, because uh, going to Estavia is about an hour drive from Tuscaloosa. And I am grateful for another day with my family. So, I hope you guys have an awesome day. I will check back in with you later, and I will be doing cardio later, too. Um, they usually tell you not to work out or exercise, so let me preface that the cardio that I'm going to be doing is a low intensity, like going. So, anyway, that's it, guys. Hope you have an awesome hump day. I will check back in with you later. So, I'm just going to put my vest on and go walk the um, neighborhood for 30 minutes, and that's it. So, I had tried to do it this morning, but I kind of got off a little bit. Um, and I couldn't get myself Saturday or Sunday, but, um, they evened out my lip where I had the issue. Um, and then just, I asked them just to kind of make everything else even all around. So that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, I'm super swollen right now. They, here's the finished product. As you can see, like you can't really tell anything in my forehead. You can in my lips though. They're really swollen right now. Like I said, the swelling will go down a lot. So It'll probably com be completely gone by Saturday. It will not stay like this. They're going to go down. Um, and I'll just kind of continue to give you guys updates. Um, my sister's driving now. So uh, I think we're going to stop and try to get some food maybe before heading on back. And that's pretty much it. Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well. So an update on my lips. They are still really swollen. Again, they're probably going to go down to about half of this size. I am still super bruised right around in here and right up there. Um, um, this side feels pretty good. This side is still super sore. And I'm still super, super sore down here. They actually look even bigger on this screen for some reason than they actually are. Like I said, they are going to go down quite a bit. To like half the size so probably by saturday or sunday the majority of the swelling will be gone 
and that's what my lips will actually look like. So right now, they look super huge, but they won't stay this way. They're just really sore and really bruised. So I can't really like, so like I was saying, I'm still just really super swollen. Um, my lips will go down to like half of this size. As for the dysport, it's not fully kicked in yet. It won't kick in until probably, uh, probably Sunday or next week sometime. It takes like a couple of days. Um, but again, my lips will go down to like half of this size. Like they're still just so swollen and tender. It's hard for me to, like my gallon jug that I have, like suck on that straw. So um, I'm just really, really swollen right here and over here. So anyway, I digress. I will be hitting upper body today. My legs are still so sore. Like I cannot believe how sore they are. Um, I don't hit legs again, again until tomorrow, so thank God for that because I can barely walk. Good morning, guys. So, I thought I'd give you a lip update. You can see my lips have gone down quite a bit. Um, I am still swollen. It'll probably be swollen until Wednesday, which will be a full week, but they're swollen on the inside still a little and right over here. So, anyway, um, that's it for the lip update. Um, the disport has kicked in. As you can see, like, I don't have any forehead wrinkles coming up anymore. Um, and I told them that I wanted a little bit of a lift in my eyebrows, so they gave me a little here and a little bit more right through here. But, anyway, I digress. Um, I checked in with Jamie on Saturday. Um, I forgot to post that information, so I'll try to remember to post it, but... Um, we're not really changing anything. She did up my cardio to five days a week of just low intensity steady state cardio. Um, I'm sitting in a really good spot. Was at after my rest week. Um, I didn't really follow a set. I mean, I followed a nutrition plan, but I kind of allowed myself to relax and have some freedom last week. So if I wanted something, I had it. Um, but I'm on... Like, I need, I'm 15 weeks out, so I want to try to hammer down a little bit. Um, really want to try to get ready early and just kind of see what we're looking at. Play around with, like, some peak weeks and kind of see what works with my body. Plus, she wants me, she wants to be able to feed me going into the show. So, um, I'm going to be on point from this point forward. I'm sitting at around 130, which I really only have about six to eight pounds to lose. So it's not like I have a ton of weight. To